Hey everybody, One Piece chapter 1055 just dropped and it was crazy. Uh, if you are already not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe to the channel for more One Piece content. And also leave a like for the algorithm. I appreciate it. But the new chapter just dropped. It was crazy. So many reveals. We now know where Pluton is. Um, bringing that uh, alabaster foreshadowing to a close. Um, we also know that they have the third world Poneglyph. We know where Old Wano is. Uh, there were some theories that the Poneglyph was at the bottom of Mount Fuji. So congratulations to whoever made those theories. Uh, but we really want to talk about is Green Bull. Um, I hate him. He stinks and I don't like him. I really do. I don't like Green Bull. He, he, he I don't know. I think they were just trying to do Akainu, but lighter. It, it just, it, it doesn't work for me. I, I, I'm not going to cap. I, he's a fodder admiral. There really shouldn't be fodder admiral like it just looks bad admirals haven't taken a w like since ace died i <laughs> like i know that's dark i know that's a dark thing to say but admirals have just been taking l after l after l no one even respects them no more i mean props to you know props to momonosuke honestly because you know he really came into his own in my personal opinion i think I think uh, he now has no reason not to open Wano's borders. I think Oda was waiting for the what Wano's borders are to actually be revealed and for Momonosuke to be able to defend Wano from anyone coming from the outside. Momonosuke just defended Wano from an admiral. So basically he feels comfortable enough to take down the, the, the borders. Now, do I think, um, you know, uh, the giant elephant, uh, Zunisha, will return to take it down? I don't see how that giant elephant is going to take down those walls. I really don't. I, I don't know how tall it scales to the walls. But, I mean, Momonosuke could probably just, you know, blast breath it or something. Um, you know, that, that just makes the most sense. But... Uh, yeah, it, I think uh, Oda just had to wait for Momonosuke to be able to defend Wano before he could take down its borders. But now that he's shown he can, there's no reason not to take down the borders. So I'm going to make a bet that within the next two chapters, Wano's borders will be coming down because that was Odin's dream uh, to bring down Wano's borders. I mean, why have it all this hype to not do it? It, it doesn't make any sense. But yeah, as far as Admiral Green Bull, he, he's kind of an L. I'm not going to cap all the admirals are L. I think Fujitora is pretty OP. Like, I, I don't see any way around it, actually. He's pretty OP. I, I don't, but everyone else just trash. I mean, now that Luffy could beat Kaido uh, in that lava form, like in that heated up form, there's no reason he can't beat Aikainu now. Um, so, it's not looking pretty good for Admirals. I'm pretty sure Sanji could sweep Kizaru with no problem. I'm pretty sure Zoro could take Green Bull. Honestly, I don't know who would take Fujitora, honestly. Like, you know what? Hell, honestly, you could probably just have Yamato take down Green Bull and and have Zoro take down Fujitora. So, I mean, I think it makes sense now that Yamato joins the crew so that we could have the Admiral v Admiral 3v3. But yeah, solid chapter, solid artwork, solid fights. Uh, I actually loved that Luffy saw the whole thing. Of course, he saw the whole thing. Um, you know, because he could, he has observation hockey, and so does everyone else uh, who was sitting next to him. Uh, I love that he saw the whole thing, and you know, he had to realize that this is something Momonosuke needs to do on his own. Shanks hockey reaching all the way to the top of Wano. That's fucking OP. I I I don't know. 
how Luffy is gonna be able to take that. Um, Cause damn, like maybe that's his next mentor, I guess. I, I don't know. He needs to master conquerors. I mean, he has conquerors. He's mastering conquerors. Uh, he has advanced conquerors, but that's beyond advanced conquerors. I, I don't even know what to call that shit. I, I that shit is that shit. That shit is like emperor's hockey. Like it, it's. It's ridiculous. I don't know what to even call that shit. I'm, I'm sure the internet will make a name for it, but that's the most OP feat of Conqueror's Hockey I think we've seen in One Piece ever. Like, it wasn't just a regular lightning. Like, he didn't even bring the storm clouds. It was just Thunderbolt. Like, it actually changed this man's mood. Like, this man was so confident in beating Momonosuke. And then Green Bull said, nope, can't do it. Can't do it. He just beat king and queen in like five minutes. No problem. Nobody in Shanks crew has a devil fruit and he still won't fight him. I don't know it. I don't know what else Shanks got. If all he has is conqueror's hockey, that's pretty impressive that he's, you know, because that's it looks like that's all he got. But he maxed out that one thing. Like, it's kind of like Shanks is that dude who does one move on Mortal Kombat, but he do it real good. Um, but yeah, uh, honestly, solid chapter. I love the explanation for why Wano is underwater. I I think it's funny that nobody is talking about the fact that we know where one of the ancient weapons is. And it was actually under Kaido's nose the whole time. Um, I was low-key actually expecting to see Big Mom and Kaido in there. I mean, I know they went into a volcano, but um, where they at? Like, that doesn't... I don't make no sense but also what also doesn't make any sense one thing i just don't understand maybe i'm not getting this if someone would explain this to me in the comment section i'd really appreciate it because in the picture it showed that wano has like two walls up on each side two things don't make sense what about the other sides like if there's a square and you got only two lines, you know, there's a big gap in the middle. You see what I'm saying? Like, like what's stopping the water from spilling out in the middle? Unless it's like a bowl. Like, I mean, if it's like that, cool. But also, how is there a raging waterfall if all the water in there is rainwater? Like, 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 like if it's something that's overflowing, that's cool. But it got to stop overflowing at some point. I mean, it's not raining all the time in Wano. I mean, this isn't Gotham City. I don't I don't understand. If somebody could explain that to me in the in the comment section. I'd appreciate it because that didn't make no sense to me. It was still clever, but it didn't make no sense. Also, what doesn't make any sense? This is the biggest plot hole for me, though. Solid chapter, but this was a Odin's dad. I forgot his name. I, I can't remember his name right now. It's it's 1 a.m. It's 1 a.m. But Odin's father said that um, the All Star uh, Jack floated, swam down there, and found the Pony Cliff. Okay, cool. How did he not see the ancient weapon? If if in the line of dialogue, um, uh, Odin's father, I really forget his name for real, Shimosuke, whatever, said that the ancient weapon, uh, Pluton, is right beneath them even further. Jack was right there. How did he not see that? I like like. Kaido and Big Mom plan was to find the ancient weapons. If Jack was down there, how did he not see it? Like, if someone could explain that to me as well, I'd appreciate that too. Because that don't make no sense. You right there. You right there. That doesn't make... That's dumb. That's stupid. You're stupid. Stop being stupid. Like, I, I don't know, but it's still a solid chapter. But seriously, though, that's a major plot hole for me, and it doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, solid chapter, solid story beats. Momonosuke came in his own. Luffy's getting ready to meet Shanks. Um, the borders of Wano can now come down. Uh, and possibly, Zunisha has a place to land now. 
uh, and stop moving. Um, I, I don't know what it's going to do with the rest of its life, but, you know, Zunisha got a Zunisha. And, uh, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe for more One Piece content. I will be reviewing every chapter every week, making more theories, doing my shit. Um, but please subscribe for more content uh, and like the video. Y'all have a nice day.